Hi, water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you that are cross watching. In today's tarot reading, we're going to take a look and see what you can expect to unfold within the next 24 to 48 hours, um, even up to 72 hours. This is going to be a general reading, guys. So if you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. I hope you guys don't mind. I've shuffled the cards off camera. Um, just to save us a little bit of time. So let's begin with the Queen of Wands energy here. I believe she's shown up in your reading here um, sort of to, to warn you or maybe remind you here. Okay. Um, basically, the Queen of Wands here represents the self's basic instinct. And right now, her energy has shown up in your reading, guys. You, She wants to take the time to remind you guys that you know, before you act, before you're about to take some sort of action, and for some of you, I can see that there is something here that you've been wanting to act on, okay? So whether this is contact or communication with a romantic energy or a friend or a sibling, whether this is initiating conversation or communication, making a move of some sort, sending off an email, a text message, you know, um, whatever it is. Because some of you, I feel like you've been going on, like you've been... Um, really thinking about um, taking some form of action, but you've been sort of thinking about it for quite some time. You've been marinating on it, right? And the Queen of Wands is a reminder of the consequences of what you do. So make sure that you focus on, um, you know, like what, what will get you moving, okay? Especially with the Wheel of Fortune underneath here, okay? If your actions are going to get you moving, if they're going to get you moving in a positive direction, if they're going to bring about positive results. If your actions are not going to take you any place, if that contact or the communication is not going to do much, and if it's only going to result in negative drama or like negative energy, then you're probably best off, you know, not taking that action, right? Not sending off that sending off that text message or not placing that phone call. You know what I'm, you know what it is that you've been wanting to do. So um, she's here to remind you of the consequences, the consequences of your actions, also the consequences of your intentions. Because you know the energy that you put out is essentially the energy that comes back to you. So just watch your thoughts very closely. And for those of you who have been thinking about taking some form of um, action, like for example, especially because you've got the Four of Swords and the Ace of Swords, there is some sort of contact communication that I think you've been wanting to um, have with someone here. Okay, maybe you feel like you're being owed an apology. Maybe you feel like someone has really hurt you, and you want to take your words and weaponize them, and you want to, you know, hit them where it hurts. That kind of energy. Um, will it do you a, you know, will it do you a service, or will it do you a disservice? Is it going to improve your situation? Is it going to make you feel better? Or is it going to worsen the situation? And will you feel, yeah, you'll get it out of your system, but will you feel worse after it? Okay, so stop and think. Because um, the next 24 to 48 hours, even, you know, up to 72 hours, I feel like this is really what's um, the focal point in your energy. Okay, um, it could be a connecting energy that is also tied to you, but it's very closely where they're also thinking about taking some um, form of action and you know, they too have to be very careful of the consequences of their action, okay? Also, I feel like the cards here are also hinting, you know, at the consequences of, like, your lack of actions, okay? Not taking any action is also kind of, you know, taking action in itself, ironically. So, you know, if you don't send off that message, if you don't place that phone call, if you don't, you know, demand for that apology, or whatever it is, or if you don't, you know, shoot off that email, whatever it is that you've been wanting to do, if you don't make that move... You know, what kind of consequences are going to follow? So I feel like you really need to stop and think because if you act on impulse here, okay, so what's have sh um, shown up in your energy for a reason, you could end up getting hurt. You could potentially hurt yourself. You could potentially find out something that you probably don't want to know. So if you are seeking a sort of truth or if you are trying to dig up information on something or someone, be careful because what you find out might not be what you're looking for. Four of Swords, healing, healing, and more healing. Um... That's really, I feel like that's a huge focus for some of you, not for all of you. Um, some of you may need to spend time to heal your body, okay? It could be your physical body, so you could have sustained an injury of some sort, and you really need to focus on healing. It could be your spiritual body, okay? Um, you know, your emotional body, your, your um, mental body, so... 
Um, healing is so important right now. Okay. Also take the time to just, you know, the art of doing nothing. Take the time to not do a whole lot of things. Take the time, take the time to really focus on yourself. Focus on healing your energy focus on getting yourself better um you know it could even mean like your thoughts as well because the four of swords is mental energy okay um you know are your thoughts serving you positively or are they not you know um is the way that you're seeing things is your perception of things and your perspective of things is that improving your situation or is that making it worse is that making you feel better or is it making you feel worse it's that kind of energy really pay attention to your thoughts because you know mental mental energy does a lot okay your thoughts how you perceive things is essentially you know it can change and drastically alter a situation altogether so pay attention to your thoughts because for some of you i think you're doing yourself a disservice by thinking negatively okay or by focusing on the negative side if you are waiting for and this is just an example if you're waiting to receive contact or communication from someone you're kind of sitting by your by your phone and you're waiting for it to come in and a watched pot never boils and you know you're focusing on why it is that you're not hearing from this person or why it is that you're not receiving that email or whatever it is um and it's just you know you're putting all this stuff in your head and you don't need that where instead you could really be filling your head with you know positive thoughts and positive energy and positive vibrations okay so that's the aim of the game for the next 24 42 i mean 48 72 heck that's the name of the game for a lot of you right um, there's something here that's coming into alignment and I think you're going to see evidence of this show up in the next 24 to 48 hours. Um, it could be something really small for some of you, but I think it's going to have a really, um, like really huge consequences. There goes that word again. Um, with the 10 of cups, this is your energy, right? You've shown up as a 10 of cups and to me, especially in this reading, this, this is a strong energy of alignment. So something here is coming into alignment. So you could be, you know, aligning with your higher self you could be coming into alignment into closer alignment here um with you know with your romantic energy with the people you could there's a sense of connectedness especially with the wheel of fortune i think you can expect like maybe even some synchronistic turn of events to take place over the next 24 to 48 hours you can also expect like signs synchronicities and symbols to show up even more frequently than they do, okay? You might even um, experience some re really like, prophet like um, prophetic and really strong dreams, dreams that feel so real and they're so intense. Um, I feel like it's the universe trying to communicate um, to you. It's trying to let you know that you're on the right path, okay? So keep doing what you're doing. Um, take good care of yourself, your mind, body, um, your soul. And for a lot of you, I feel like For a lot of you, I feel like you're getting closer to something here. I don't necessarily know what that is, but it feels like, you know, you could be coming full circle. You could be getting closer to someone. You could be connecting to something, okay? Um, it just feels, and whatever this is, because the Wheel of Fortune is like the Destiny Tarot card, it just feels like, even if something felt far away, it's it feels a lot more closer now. Um, it feels like this is part of your destiny, uh, it feels like this is interwoven into your destiny. It's destined for you. It's, you know, you're destined to make contact with this person. You're destined to hear from them. You're destined to cross paths with them. This is destined to happen for you. If you've applied for, um, you know, like a dream role or a certain position, you're destined to get it. Okay. This is like right now, I feel like destiny is really strongly at play and you'll see, and this is what I mean when like there's certain synchronistic events that are going to start showing up in your life. Okay. I feel like you're really... And this goes back to the whole alignment thing. I feel like you're really getting close to something or you're really getting close to someone. You're getting close to, you know, meeting your person or meeting the person that's right for you or meeting the person that you're meant to be with, you know, even if it's just temporarily. Um, you're getting close to that job that you're supposed to land or that opportunity that's supposed to come your way. There's something here, and a lot of you, because you're so intuitive, right? You guys are water energy. You're so strong on your feelings. You're strong, so strong on your feels that you you can feel it coming, okay? And although I might not know specifically what this is for you, I think you will and you do because I think you're the expert, you know, on your own life. So whatever this is, and maybe this is just like confirmation or even like double confirmation for some of you from the universe that, you know, you're getting closer, you're getting closer to success, you're getting closer to achieving that goal, you're getting closer to finally, you know, publishing that book because you guys are so, you're such a creative, artistic bunch. So 
there's something here that I feel like you're um, getting closer to. There's also some delays. So you've got some movement and you've got some delays here as well. Um, for some of you, time seems to be standing still a little bit or time may even seem to go um, backwards. I feel like the universe is giving you a chance. If there's any delays here, the universe is giving you a chance to, I feel like, reflect or do some thinking or even maybe switch things up, um, switch like, things up a bit, um, especially with the hangman's energy. Because I feel like whatever is taking its long and I mean lengthy time to arrive here it's it, it's taking its time for a reason because I think whatever the delay you'll see that there's a reason behind it okay and it's in fact a bit of a blessing behind it as well maybe you know um, something is delayed to you and once it arrives you have a lot more appreciation or gratification for it um, maybe you know you, you're supposed to hop on one bus on your way to work and you miss it and you get on the next bus and there you'll meet, you know, a handsome, beautiful stranger. So whatever the delay is, understand that it's for a reason. So don't push against it. Don't show resistance. Okay. Speaking of delay, there is some sort of contact or communication that is coming in for you. Um, or I think you're the one that's going to be initiating this contact, this communication. But remember, going back to the Queen of Wands at the start of this reading, there is going to be consequences. Okay. So if you're... You know, if you're trying to get something off your chest, you know, are you trying to pick a fight or can you go about it differently? So just, just think about the consequences, you know, are the consequences going to be good or bad? Just either way, there will be consequences, whether you do or whether you don't, right? Um, but there is some sort of contact, there is some sort of communication coming in. And just understand that the consequences of your actions are going to be really big. So you might want to think about whatever it is that, you know, you've been dwelling on for quite some time. Alright guys, and I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support to the channel by liking, sharing and subscribing. Bye for now.